Hello, for this tutorial, you will see how to create dimensions and add text to a Google SketchUp model. The version that I will be demonstrating this with is using the free web Google SketchUp version. In front of us at this moment, we have two geometry objects. We will go ahead and simply take the height of both of these objects in front of us. Looking for our dimensions in the web version, you would just go to the bottom where we have these three dots and you'll look for your dimensions icon. Selecting dimensions, dimensions will allow you to grab endpoint to endpoint and then stretch your mouse out to place it where you want to drop your dimensions. So if I was to grab the top endpoint and the bottom endpoint with a left click and begin to drag my mouse, remember we have our guides that lets us know which plane that we're on when we're dropping our shapes and dimensions in as well. So notice on the green, I am on the incorrect axes. I want to be on this front plane. So therefore, I want to make sure I'm following the red axes. And as you can see, we have my red dash line. So it lets me know that I'm in the correct place. With the left click, I can simply drop my dimension in place. Repeating this, if I wanted to take a midpoint dimension from the smaller object, I can do so. Dimensions are a part of your drawing when they are created, and they are also coming into your drawing as associative. This means that if I was to use my push-pull tool to decrease the height of this object here, that height will change automatically or modify itself in the dimensions. When it comes to creating text, again, you will look for your text icon. So there are two ways of putting text in your Google SketchUp. The first is with the icon that has the leaders. So simply clicking and dragging your mouse, you will have a leader line and it will automatically give you a box where you can begin to create your text and what you want the leader line to represent. A lot of times for interior designers, this is a great way to have for callouts and also other dimensions as well. If you ever need to modify this information, you can just select that text and give yourself a right click and you can edit your text, change your arrowheads, and also your leaders. And of course, looking for any of that entity information is found under your entity info. This is where you can change your text color and heights as well here. Another way of creating text is to use your 3D text. So the 3D text is a lot of times used when you want to add additional information, such as headers or titles to a drawing. When you click on your 3D text, you will get your properties box, which is where you will begin to type in any information that you want. So we're gonna say building text. If I wanted to, I can change my font, I can create my text to be bold, regular, or italics. You can also put in your height information and then also your text field and extrusions. By selecting OK, your text will come automatically attached to your mouse, where now you can begin to move it around. When you make it to a face, your text will stand up in that direction. With the left click, you can drop it and then left click to use your tool, your mouse, to move your text into place. And if I wanted to just stick this here, I can do so. Again, your text is coming into your drawing because it is attached to it. But with 3D text, it is now considered a component. So you can also double click on that text 
scroll in and now you can manipulate your text in any way that is needed. Such as if you wanted to add some color to your text, you can do so. Go, let's get in there. There we go. And simply begin to color in your text. And once you're finished, scroll out. And now you have modified the text to your drawing. And if you scroll around, as you can see, that text will read in both directions. And so were your dimensions, and so will your remaining text for that has your leader lines.